Hey guys, it's Cheryl, and I'm back with a new layout. This week we're scraplifting um, Katty, Katty Miranda. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, so in the beginning of the video, I showed you the layout I'm going to be scraplifting. Um, so it's like full of color and mixed media, and I was like, yeah, let's go with that. Um, so I'm starting my layout with the American car, oh, American Crafts um, textured cardstock white cardstock and I am prepping my page with some gesso and uh, now I'm just starting to make a mess on my layout which that's what I usually do and I started with some color bloom uh, spray mist this is from Prima and the color is glistening waves and then I added um, some um, distress color from the uh, from Tim Holtz. It's called Peacock Feathers, and then I added a little bit of uh, colorings um, from Shimmers, um, some Heidi Ho blue. That's the name of the color, I think. I used so many colors here. Uh, I just tried to you know, um, uh, you know, get to the colors that she had on her layout. Obviously, you cannot do you know exactly what she that what she did, but um, I tried making it like look like hers, but um, adding some of my style into it. So I added a little bit of yellow. That's what she had in her layout. Um, and I keep looking on my iPad. Uh, I keep looking on her on her um, layout just to make sure that I am, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, doing like I'm told, um, like her layout. Um, so I'm adding like lots of shimmers from colorings, uh, from their colorings collection, from their vibes collection, and from the creamless collection, and their inklings collection. So you can see that there is a lot of um, colors just piling there in the corner. Um, yeah, so here I am just kind of like trying not to get crazy with the colors because she did use mixed media, but she didn't really go crazy with the colors. She kept it a little bit um, bright but light. Uh, hope that makes sense. Uh, so now after everything got dried, um, I'm using this mini stencil from um, Heidi Swap, and I'm using the Faber Castell. Um, what is that? Faber Castell Whip uh, Spackle. So it can, so you can see the uh, texture of that chevron. That's what she had as well in her layout. So after thing everything dried. Um, I actually cut down my picture. It was supposed to be four by six, but she used. I think an Instagram photo which was like 4x4 four four. so my picture is a little bit bigger it's bigger than that but it's it's smaller than 4x6 so hopefully that's okay um, and I'm using uh, to back my photo I'm going to be using this um, branding cardstock from the Pink Fresh uh, Studio I think it used to back um, the alphas which I don't know where are they right now um, I put in underneath um, some washi tape that washi tape I actually got from a friend. Uh, uh, she was in a local scrapbook store. She didn't know what to get me. She just wanted to buy me something. And she bought this really cute washi tape. I think it's a Japanese washi tape. I'm not sure. Because sure. I don't know what is written on that masking tape. It's written only masking tape. That's the only thing that was written in English. Everything else I think was in Japanese. Now I am mixing it up. Uh, mixing some embellishments from Pink Paisley. The title I know it's from Pink Paisley. I think it's from the Oh My Heart collection. And the rest of the embellishments are from the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams and um, the Pink Fresh Studio. Um, I think I had the name. I just don't know where I wrote it. I don't know what collection is it. I think it's Live More. That's the collection. Yeah. So... I'm adding some few bits and pieces from the uh, puffy stickers that I had from Pink Fresh Studio. And now I'm doing the frame. She used the frame um, on her layout. I think it was like less than one inch or something. I'm not really sure. Um, so she used that in order to frame her uh, layout. So what I did in order... So what I did instead of uh, using it, you know, as a straight frame, I just kind of like twist it. as Because I felt like I had to put in something from, you know... For me, um, so yeah, so now you can see that I just twist it and I'm just using now my glue and I'm turning it to the layout. So 
I didn't hear anything, so I just uh, pulled everything out before adhering the um, rectangle, square, whatever it is. And yeah, cleaning now my desk. It's not actually a desk, I'm actually working at my bedroom because we had some uh, relatives from abroad coming, so I didn't have my space because it was full of beds. Um, yeah. But next week, hopefully, I will be able to scrap in my space. But here, the lighting is like awesome. Like seriously, I don't have that kind of a lighting, um, in you know, in my space, which is in the living room. I wish I had that um, <laughs> um, lighting there. But yeah. So um, now I am trying to understand where I want to put those big flowers. I used like three flowers. Um, even though like you know when you see it on the screen it looks like great but on person it's like you feel like it's not enough like you have to add more embellishments and i was like nah, don't add if it looks okay on the screen just don't add um because i i do have a lot of embellishments but i didn't want to go crazy with too many embellishments and let's not forget about scrap uh scrap lifting um um Katie, Katie, sorry, I'm really sorry, uh, Miranda layout, I'm really sorry if I didn't say her name right, um, yeah, so what I was saying, I don't know, uh, I'm just trying to uh, uh, place all the embellishment before adhering everything, and yeah, and that button, that's from the Pinkfair Studio, that's what I know, because, no, it's not from the Pinkfair Studio, wait, I think it is. No, I think it is. Yeah, the pink one. I think it is. I'm not really sure. Because we got it in the click kit, um, I think on the July kit or the June kit. And we got a partial pack, so just I don't know from uh, what company it is, but I'm pretty sure it's from the Pink Fresh. Now I'm building the pineapples. She had pineapples on the uh, upper corner in the left, and so I'm just, uh, I didn't have any pineapples. Um, I thought about, you know, um, pulling out from the Oasis uh, collection. I have the embellishment. I didn't open the pack yet. And I thought about, you know, taking that pineapple. But they only had one pineapple and it's a black one. So I didn't want to, you know, just take it just to, you know, um, open the package just for that pineapple. So I just made myself two pineapples. Um... I didn't think I I didn't think that it was so complicated. Uh, I just had to do some something round, uh, to a round shape, an oval shape, and um, just you know cut a crown shape, and I think that's it. Um, and then on the oval shape, I just you know um, use my pen, my palette pen, uh, to make that shape, so um, the grid shape, like we usually see on pineapple. Now I'm putting some. Uh, how you call that? It's not a thread. It's a... Ah, oh, I forgot what's that name. Anyway, you can see it on the screen. So I'm just putting that um, on the on the corner. Um, and then I'm placing my pineapples. So the pineapples look a little bit sad. So I thought about um, putting on, on the pineapples. I mean, decorating my pineapples with some sequence and i'm using the mini sequence pack that we got this is i'm using the pink one the violet one and i'm using also the blue one and it's in a scallop shape so that's a really really cool sequence i don't think i ever seen like um a cool shape of a sequence um and actually uh, as i placed those sequins i saw that there isn't a hole not in the middle but Oh, in the middle and also in the top so you can actually use uh, use it and um, you know use a thread through those holes and make something I don't know like a banner shape or something so that's an idea if you're thinking about the you know using the sequins they're super cute and I love the colors especially the violet one which is not actually violet it's like um I for I'm forgetting the, the names of the colors but it's not a violet one it's a light violet I hope you know what I'm talking about. If not, then I'm really sorry that I can't explain myself. <laughs> um, yeah, so here I kind of zoom in and I forgot to do zoom out. But all what I'm doing right now is just adhering the embellishments like in the bottom. 
um, but don't worry I'm gonna be zooming out very quickly in s at some point I'm gonna be doing the zooming out um, and I added that banner there in the top corner that you can see the weekend vibes and that's from the pink fresh studio no, pink paisley not pink fresh studio and yeah now um, I added as well sequence I don't know if you can see it the blue sequence and I'm using some mixed um, sequence from the Ferris wheel sequence I added a little bit of green because that's you have green and blues a little bit in the sequence and because I needed a little bit more blue I use it uh, I use the star spangled uh, sequence set there you have like a dark blue so I use that um, just because you have like so many blues um, on the layout itself so I thought it could go well with it and yeah so now I'm adhering <laughs> each sequence um, because my zig pen is like done with its um, with itself so I didn't have any zig pen and I had to use that big blue big big blue big glue <laughs> big glue bottle in order to um, adhere the sequence I didn't like that <laughs> I should really buy I don't know like 10 I don't know dozens of zig pens in order for me to you know use the sequence and adhere them well so I hear those pineapples it looks super cute and this is the end of the layout so thank you very much for watching and I hope you can join along and you know scrap lift as well um, you know every every week you have different person so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next layout bye